All right, what's up guys? So I'm getting kind of over like when I'm out working at night, I know a lot of you guys probably have this issue is when you're outside because you might not have a very good garage space. You're always outside wrenching on your vehicle and during the day then it gets dark and then you can't see and you have to stop and call the project at night because you can't see anything in your engine bay. And I actually, I was getting tired of this and I also wanted it for car shows because you open the hood and then when the car show turns to dark, you can't see anything in the engine. Um, and you can't really show it off that well. So I kind of I looked around on the internet and I found a, a video and it was it was talking about putting engine bay lights in and it wasn't like some cheap jerry rig thing. It was actually a legit wired up light. You could put a switch on and it was it, you'd open the hood and they turn on. It was really kind of cool. So I thought I'd share this with you because I thought a lot of you guys would probably enjoy this. Um, and I found it. Uh, the channel was a gearhead for life, I think, or something like that. I'll leave a link to his channel in the video that I found it. Um, any questions that I don't answer here, he will for sure answer for you. Um, and I'll leave a link to all the products that I got in as well, and I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do this. So let's get right into it. So these are just the simple products that I got. Um, and for those of you who don't know, this is just a regular LED strip. Um, I got this on Superbright LEDs, superbrightleds.com, I think it was. The links will be down below. And uh, this is a cool white. Um, it was the, I think this was little over a foot long um, maybe not yeah maybe it was a two foot section uh, but I got this and it was under twenty dollars for just this little strip here and this was a cool white color um, so we'll see what the cool light looks like and then um, I picked up off of I think Walmart's website actually um, you can go in Google and type in mercury switch and what these do is they actually have a piece of mercury inside here and it allows for it to slide around and you can see the two leads. You might be able to barely see it. There's two leads that go into that little cylinder there. And when the mercury is forward, it's not making contact. But when it tips back, here you can probably hear it. When it tips back, it connects on those two leads and it, and it uh, completes the circuit. Um, and that's kind of your switch. So this is going to be attached to the hood and the hood will be closed like so. And then when you open the hood, the mercury will fall and turn the lights on. So that's kind of the switch I'm going to be going for. And then I'm also going to wire in eventually. I probably won't do it today, but I will be wiring in a toggle switch to where I could turn them on and off with the hood open. Um, got a fusible link so I don't destroy anything. Um, just a regular little fusible link that I can pop fuses in. And then I just went with a 15 amp. Not sure if this is too big or too small, but we're going to go with it anyways. See how that one works. And then I got standard 18 gauge black and red wire so I can wire everything up. And so, yeah, this should be pretty simple. So right now, I actually, I cut this strip, as you can see, it was right here. It was a solid piece. I cut it so I could put one piece on one side of the hood and one on the other on the hood latch. Um, and so I gotta go ahead now and attach some of this wire in between these two and um, cut and re-solder and connect these with a piece of wire in between so I can go around the hood latch and so I can stretch them out a little bit. So I'm gonna go take some measurements and I'm gonna go ahead and solder this up. So I went ahead and I cut two 10 inch sections of the wire, uh, stripped it on both ends. Now I'm gonna go ahead and solder and connect these two and this will allow it to go right over the hood latch whether I choose to put it right on top of it or not, but it'll allow it to gap these two out so they're not right next to each other, that's the real thing. So they're labeled positive and negative like right there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and wire them up and uh, we'll go from there. So not really too pretty, but it's on. Um, I kind of melted this side. I guess I should have stripped it back a little bit further um, on the like shrink wrap or clear, whatever the heck that is. Um, but either way, it's on. And I just grabbed a little 9-volt battery to test it with. And sure enough, the lights work. Let's see if I can just get it in there. Okay, perfect. So yeah, you can see it's kind of, it's not like a ice white. It's kind of literally a cool white. Got a little bit more of a tan kind of beige kind of tint to it. But that's really cool, so uh, I'm super happy with this. Um, let's see if it looks any different. Uh, not really. But they're pretty bright. Um, this is only a 9 volt, so when I throw a 12 volt on it, it's going to get a lot brighter. But this is pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with how these are working out. So 
This side is just going to be taped to the hood like so, and then it's going to come across hood latches right about here. And then I'm going to actually probably drill a hole in the hood or put a hole in the hood or just feed it through the, the part of the hood. Run it all the way down to my switch. This is going to get my, wired to this switch. I'm going to mock this up. And then off of those wires, we're going to come down to the battery and a ground. And I'm going to put the fusible link in and run it to the battery and then I'll have my 12 volt. So it should be pretty good, pretty easy. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. All right, so I got a pretty big mess going on here, but I got it mocked up a decent amount. So I pretty much just stuck it to the back of the hood here. Uh, I just taped it for now, ran it through um, the press part of the hood. It'll come down these vents and then here's the negative and here's the positive. The positive runs to the switch and then the other side of the positive lead, this now becomes my positive lead. So I have a new positive lead, which is gonna get, um, it's gonna get ran down here so you can't really see it. It'll get tucked back there like that. And then I will put in my fusible link to that wire and then I will run it straight to the battery or actually, yeah, to the battery because I don't want it to, to have to have the key on. So I'm gonna run it straight to the battery. And then with the ground, I'm gonna run it back through the same direction and then I'm probably just gonna ground it to like one of these. Um, I'll ground it to which one, whichever one I can get it to fit. And then um, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all the wiring, make sure that looks good over here. Um, take this off and then take some sandpaper and some brake cleaner, some degreaser and just clean the surface so I can actually use the 3M adhesive on the back and stick these on. And then um, I'll probably tape up the wires, but I mean, it looks pretty good. I might actually just try to run it through this hood latch. Uh, maybe not, I don't know, um, but either way, uh, that's kind of what I got going on. Um, I'm just kind of go ahead and start hooking it up. I'll, I'll, I'll make it, I'll skip to where it's kind of a little bit nicer looking. So here's a better run through. I got the lights here. They're just hanging right now because I'm cleaning the surface. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard because I got rust. Um, but either way, goes through the hood, comes out, switch, positive lead goes to over here to the battery like this. And then I got my ground on the starting solenoid. Um, and then I can simply go ahead and touch this to the positive terminal and they light up. And I got my fusible link right down in there. You can barely see it kind of tucked away so you can't purposely so you can't see it um, and then if I just go ahead and hang these like that you can see kind of how they'll be hung. So it'll be just kind of like that and then they'll do their thing. They're decently bright I mean they're not crazy but you can tell it kind of makes a difference. The whole deal is when it's supposed to be dark but you can tell if I just leave this like this lower the hood lower the hood turn off and when I raise it and I raise the hood and then they come back on so the switch does its job that works like it's supposed to I'm definitely gonna clean up this wiring a little bit um, but I can't do too much so I'll go ahead and get this attached and then come back and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this because I don't have the right fitting fix this all right so it's pitch black right now the only thing you can see is the light off the camera um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the hood I got everything hooked up got a fitting for the battery haven't really cleaned up the wiring yet but I'll show you what this thing looks like and there you go didn't turn on any switches didn't flick anything simply just open the hood and what do you what do you got laying there the, the only issue I'm having is the tension from this wire is slowly starting to pull the adhesive off, but I mean, I'm if that's the worst thing about this, I'm not gonna complain. But I have been running these for about a week with no issues. Um, they look awesome, and you could see the motors lit up perfectly fine. 
because it was literally pitch black in here and I lifted the hood, the switch went on. You can kind of see it's pitch black if the switch isn't on. Um, the lighting that the lights give off isn't like crazy bright, but it, it allows you to see every little thing without having any like crazy silhouetted shadows, which is awesome. So I'm super happy with the lights. I'll leave a link to every single product. The only things I bought online were the light strips itself and the Mercury switch, which this was from superbrightleds.com, I think. And then this one was off of like Walmart or something like that. They're, those are really generic Mercury switches. Um, and then the wire was just like Ace hardware and O'Reilly's and things like that. Um, but yeah, it lights up the engine bay really well. It looks really good. Um, I'll be able to now work at night. And uh, I mean, you could even see my face in the light, like it's nice and illuminated. Um, but I noticed that when the video that I watched from a gearhead, he did uh, he did two of these, these strips. He did not cut it um, and his was way brighter. So if this is too dark for you and you want it to be like excessively bright, then get two of these strips, just don't cut them. They'll just be, I guess, that long on each side or however you, want, you really want to put it. Um, but either way, regardless, I'm super happy with this. Um, I've had no issues. Um, a couple questions that are gonna come up is, the Mercury gonna slide back while you're driving and flicker the lights? Absolutely not, I have not had an issue with that whatsoever. I've been driving in pitch black and dark and you can't see it and with the headlights on or anything. Um, they're, they're, it doesn't kill your battery either, so it's, don't worry about that. It's, I literally got a hardware to the battery, goes over to its little fusible link down in there you can't see, and then it runs off the ground and goes up and does its thing, and they don't come on. Like once it gets, once the hood gets to here, like that's that's a pretty big angle. So I mean, this truck isn't doing wheelies and it's not slamming forward really hard, so it's not really a big deal. Um, but regardless, just, just to answer that question, no, you won't have that issue with it turning on and killing your battery or just turning on in general. And if you wanted to wire in a toggle switch, you can literally take the positive lead, uh, and just go ahead and put a little regular switch on it. And just, I would just put it on the fender well and you just go ahead and flick it on and off. So in the daytime, if you don't want them on, it's not a big deal, but I mean, I had them on for three hours and battery voltage is still fine. So these don't kill your battery. They're LEDs. So don't worry about that. Um, oh wow, that looks promising. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of these. Um, f different things you guys think. I, I mean, I'm pretty much done with this engine bay for now until I literally like rip my whole truck apart to do fabrication. There isn't really much else I can do in terms of the engine bay besides upgrade the engine itself, which I'm not ready to do. Um, so yeah, just... So let me know what you think about the lights down below. I'll leave a link to everything. Uh, big thank you to Gearhead for Life for making the video. I would not have known this without that video. So I'll leave a link to that video. Go ahead and check it out. He has a cool Chevy and a bunch of cool projects like that. You can check that out below. Um, thanks for watching. Drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. You'll see a lot of cool stuff with this, this truck and this motor. A lot of cool stuff. I really want to get out and drive it, make driving videos. That'd be really fun. A lot of you don't see this thing drive very much. It's a lot of me working on it. So I want to start making driving style videos. Um, and I wanted to do my next, one of my f next few videos I want to do is a buyer's guide. One of you commented about doing a buyer's guide for these kind of trucks, and I've been nonstop thinking about it, but I've been writing down notes so I have things to talk about. So expect that in the future. I will credit the person that said it. I have to look back in my comments and make sure I can remember who said it, but thank you for the one who told me to do a buyer's guide video because that's going to happen. So expect that in the future. I'll see you guys around.